Hello, this is Sophie Trial for production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to introduce you to an add-on that is also free and open source from the same gentleman that we saw last week that had the smudges add-on. This one's also free from Aman Deep. And once again, <clears throat> the process is you, know, you can give towards the development to the developer to develop new or more um, add-ons by clicking in here. And I say it's free because you can type in zero, but it's good to help out the developer as much as you can if you want to. But this is a really cool add-on. You uh, put the amount here, click purchase, and I've already purchased this. That's why it says purchase again. And once you click that button, it'll take you to this page where you can download the add-on. And it's the same process that you usually go to. Uh, this add-on is for 2.93, but it seems to work pretty good in 2.82. That's what I'm using. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the process for installing the add-on is the same. Go to Edit, Preferences, Install, navigate to where you've installed or added or downloaded the add-on onto your system. Once you've done that, click on that uh, the area or the add-on, and then press Install Add-on. After you've done that, you just put a check mark in the box. Let me type in the add-on here. Yeah put a check mark there and then it's uh, good to go and then when you have installed it into blender and I'm assuming that it's gonna work for any version of blender from 2.8 up to 2.9 and above not 2. Point, not not uh, blender 3 but from 2.8 to 2.9 in that range it should work uh, once you've installed it you press shift A and you go to image and you click on image as decal. I wonder where this stuff came from. Well, I guess I'll look into that later, but image as decal, click on that. And I'm going to navigate to where I've uh, downloaded some images. And these are some book covers. And I'm going to use uh, this uh, Dr. Zeus book cover. Now, I don't think it's going to be copyright infringement. So it should be good because everyone uses or knows Dr. Zeus. And what the add-on tries to do is it tries to, uh, I guess, stick the image onto a plane, onto any surface that you apply it to. Right now it's not really doing it that well, but let's rotate it and see what happens. Let's uh, rotate it on the y-axis, R, Y. Yeah, see, I just moved my mouse and it's trying to actually help it rotate onto the surface of our plane here. Now that's one thing this add-on does do besides uh, making an image a decal. It also tries to adhere the image onto any surface. It could be a curved surface or a flat surface uh, but I've tried it on the curved surfaces and it's kind of you know iffy somewhat. I'll show you what I mean after I get uh, go through this process of putting the uh, image onto this plane. Now let's see what this image looks, looks like on the plane. Let's go to change our viewport uh, render here. And let's pull it up a little bit. Maybe that'll help. Okay, there you there go. Let me see. Let's grab it on the x-axis. And let's scale it on the y, s, y just to kind of make it a little bit fatter. Uh, look at it from the top view. And let's rotate this R control and move our mouse and there we go now I'm going to give my <coughs> background plane an image to give so you can see the power of the decal add-on I'm gonna to go to this is not part of the add-on at all I'm just giving the background like a brick texture okay let me get, let me see uh, let me set this up let me add new here. Divide up my window here. Go to the node editor. Let me see. Shoot editor. Control <coughs> T. G to grab. Pull this up. And I'm going to turn this from generated or UV to generated. I'm going to open up a texture here. And choose a brick background. Choose that one. Open image. Let me see, there it is. 
Okay, so let's get back to our decal. And the settings for the decal are on the, let me see, in the toolbar to the right of your user interface. Let me scroll up with my mouse and expand this. And it's up in the first tab of item. You scroll down and you'll see decals. And you'll see all the settings right here. And this is a really powerful, powerful uh, add-on. Let me scale up our image a little bit more, make it a little bit bigger. Let me see. Okay. So a bit of clipping at the bottom, but we'll just ignore that. Uh, I, I know it's reversed, but it's, it's fine. Let me see. We have all these settings here. Now we're going to increase the, the wear amount on our image. We are, and this is the parameter for that. Just pull this up. You can see that it's starting to show some wear and tear in the upper part of our image here. Let's turn down the scale of that. This affects the scale of it. 2.7. And the roughness, you can turn that up. And it's good that when, whenever you download an add-on, doesn't matter what software it is, it could be Photoshop, it could be Blender, it could be Maya. Once you download any kind of add-on or plugin, to test it out, just kind of crank up the parameters to see what they can do at the highest level. So with this, let's mess with the edge amount. You can see it's really starting to really wear on the image to make it look like a decal because uh, decals sometimes when they've been on an item for a long time, they tend to wear, <coughs> excuse me, they tend to wear on the edges and in the middle. And this shows that quite a bit. This actually does it a lot, very, very well. The damage hue, see it looks, you can change the hue of your image to make it look a, lot, a little bit more worn. It looks faded. Damage saturation, can mess with that. Make it really desaturated or saturated. Like it's losing color, like it's been hit with a lot of wind and natural elements. R wind, rain, uh, snow, hail. It really wears out the image. Uh, the bump mount can make it really bumpy like it's like crumpled paper because when paper has been soaking in water or been in or has ha has had water put on it it tends to crumple up and that's what this is uh, demonstrating uh, you can actually even put scratches on this it has a scratch parameter here you can turn that up let's zoom in so you can really see the scratches you see there you go see all the scratches going that way and this is a really, really nice add-on. You can change the rotation of the scratches also. Give it some variation. You can distort the scratches. You can scale them, make them bigger or smaller. Make them thicker or thinner. And the scratch strength, you can adjust that also. Make them really deep scratches or really shallow scratches. So yeah, this is the decal add-on. And it turns any image in Blender into a decal they can use in your scenes. And it's extremely well put together. Like I said, when, when you do it on a plane, it works pretty well. But when you do it on a curved surface, it's kind of iffy. Let me demonstrate that for you guys. Let's open up a new scene here. We're gonna save that. Let's get rid of this cube, so Shift A. I'm just going to go extreme here. I'm not going to use Suzanne. We're going to use a UV sphere. Okay, we got our sphere there. And we're going to make it smooth by pressing W, Shade Smooth. And the same process, Shift A, Image, Image as Decal. Go to my texture. Let me get that Dr. Zeus image again. And click on that. Image as Decal. You can see it's it's inside of the cube. And if we pull it out, or inside of the uh, UV sphere, if we pull it out of the sphere, it, it's there, but it's a little bit distorted. And let's change our viewport display here. You can see you can't even see the image itself unless you pull it out a little bit. Then you can start seeing the image. So I don't know if it's because I'm using 2.83. I mean, if you guys want, you can try it in 2.93. But uh, I've seen that when you use it on a, a curved surface, it tends to be a little bit iffy, but other than other than that, having an image using this uh, as a putting a decal on a flat surface 
it works pretty good. And once again, this is uh, today's Blender Quick Tip. And uh, thank you guys who have been watching and hope this video was helpful to you. Thank you guys who have subscribed in the past. Those of you who are subscribing now, those of you who will subscribe in the future. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Alright, adios.